this one, I thought when I was there that it was my favorite. This one. Yes. Nectar of the Gods. Yeah. Sounds like something that would be our favorite. Yeah, I know. Double right? dry hopped, double IPA. Yes. Isn't the can and really look, pretty? It's Greek. Yeah, that's on all their cans. That's like oh. that's like their one of their logos. How cool. Yeah. Well I'm I I didn't it's, know that that was Greek. I mean I think I don't know if that's supposed to be the evil eye or if it's just their eye that they kinda made, but yeah. Um ooh. Magnum ooh. Cascade Centennial and Citra hops. Yeah. Eight so, percent mm -hmm. alcohol by volume. 95. They, they brew in peace, guys. They brew in peace. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm excited. All right. So I'm Katie. I'm Kara. And you're watching the Queen of Hops. And today we are trying the Nectar of the Gods Pax Verum Brewery. Created this. Let's get into it. I'm super excited for you to try it. I'm not going to say a whole lot more. You can tell it's darker than the last one. Hmm. You want to take a picture of it? Yep. So that way you have your photo for untapped. There we go. Perfect. Got it. I would love for you to pull it up on untapped and see okay. what you think. So Pax Verum is in Lapel, Indiana. I'm slightly obsessed. Fun fact, they did a post and they said, hey, we now have like our beer at Meyer. Well, I also went to Market District. And they also have their beer at Market oh, District. Nice. So I got this at Market District. Just super excited. Ooh, we might be going there. And then I also, so they have like a dark beer that is called Dark Matter. Okay. It's Heather's favorite. That's they kind have of it there. has one like that, right? Do that they? dark. Remember that dark IPA that we got? Well, there? this wasn't a dark IPA. This is like oh, a okay. stout with okay. coconut. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You were telling me. About yeah. That. Yeah. Um, All right. It smells a little yeasty. It is no longer my favorite. And I don't know if I, I got like a it. bad can, like a bad batch, but I thought it tasted a lot different than when I was there. It tastes like a red or like amber ale. Yeah. And I don't know if it's because it's not chocolate. Like I can taste there. some Make like sure chocolate taste to it. It says uh, resiny. Yeah, we'll I don't think it's fruity. No. I don't even think it's really hoppy. I think it's more like, I'm going to put chocolate on here. It does kind of have a chocolate flavor to it now that you say it. But anyway, it, I don't know if it's how I had it. I guarantee you, because it has 95 IBU, that I put it at the end of my flight. Yeah. It wasn't the first beer that I tasted. So maybe so, you liked it more after getting a Yeah, like drinking. after drinking a couple of others. It's not terrible. It's, it's not. It's not what I would call an IPA. Like, it tastes more to me like it, it really should look like a porter almost. Oh, with the chocolate or flavor. Or a red ale. Like, yeah, I, I would say like a red I'm ale. I'm like surprised at the coloring. So, yeah, it's... It's not my favorite. I really like that that previous one that we had. Yeah, the other, other one was sold amazing. better. Yeah, I really so like that a lot. And this one, like, I could drink this. Like, I would right. gladly drink a whole can of it, but it wouldn't be something that I love or want to get back to. Yeah. Um, I've been having my dad drink them. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. So, anyway. It's weird, the chocolate. Like, I don't know why I taste chocolate, but maybe it's one of those hops you know or the blend of those hops that give it that flavor yeah kind of like an oaty like oatmeal type taste too yeah you know, it's just different it's very different it's not my like cup of tea but it's not terrible it's just not yeah not as good as the last one no I agree and I would be curious if I tried it if we went back to the brewery and I got it if it tasted different like yeah, I said I if maybe it on tap maybe if this is like the way that it was canned like this particular batch yeah it's just a little off. Which that happens all the time. It like, does. I feel like you get cans, and even on my favorite beers, I don't like them. You know, right? Like we were just talking about that. Yeah, right? the hopopotamus yeah. one that we have. It was like I have not liked it. I haven't drank a whole thing of it, and that's yeah. my favorite beer ever. So, yeah, yeah. Um, it happens. Yeah, it happens. It happens. It doesn't mean it's a bad beer. Definitely make sure you go 
and you check it out. Try it on tap. Try it on tap or pick it up and see for yourself. But like I said, I really, really, you saw, I gave it a 4.5 yeah. when I was there. I really liked it. I ranked it like a three. Yeah. Like it was that low for me right yeah. now. But like, I saw that you gave it a, and like the average is like 3.75. Yeah. So it can't be like, I'm wondering, I just kind of want to taste it on tap and see if it's better. So there you have it. even more reason to go. Yeah. All right. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask if you like these types of videos. Give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Have a great day.